Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name is Josh and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Wells Fargo Reflect credit card. So I'm gonna be going over the main features of this card, its pros as well as its drawbacks. So hopefully by the end of this video, you should have a much better idea of whether or not this card is a good fit for you. Now, before I go ahead and dive into the main features of this card, if you wouldn't mind helping me out real quickly by just giving this video a like, that just helps out with the good old YouTube algorithm and also consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. Also, if you would like to receive a few free stocks below, I will be leaving a couple of different links in a pinned comment as well as in the description box where you can receive just that. Okay, so diving right into the main features of the Wells Fargo Reflect credit card, starting out for the first 21 months on both purchases and balance transfers, you will have a 0% intro APR, so perhaps if you have some larger transactions coming up and you don't have the cash reserves on you right now to pay them off right away and you want to pay that off slowly over the first 21 months, you will have the option to do that. Now this isn't something that I normally recommend doing on this channel because I see a lot of people unfortunately fall into the trap of putting a lot of larger transactions on their card thinking they can always pay it off later but whenever the 21 months or whenever that period of the 0% intro APR ends they end up having a larger balance and it may be difficult to pay off and at that point they will have to start paying interest. Now with the balance transfer this could also be pretty helpful because if you have a larger balance on another credit card that you're paying lots of interest on every single month you could perhaps consider transferring that balance over to this card and again for the first 21 months you will have a zero percent intro apr but like i mentioned after those 21 months are up your apr is going to jump up to anywhere between 17.99 percent to 29.99 percent apr of course based on your credit worthiness and if you want to take advantage of that balance transfer you will have to do that within four months of opening your account. And of course, all this does come without having to pay any type of annual fee. So you don't have to sit around every single year and figure out whether or not the benefits that you're receiving with this card are worth paying an annual fee for because there is a $0 annual fee with the Wells Fargo Reflect credit card. Now, unfortunately, this credit card doesn't really have any type of other perks such as a spend bonus or any type of cash back. So with other credit cards on the market, you can earn like a $200 cash back as long as you spend at least $500 within, let's say like the first three months or something like that. With this credit card, unfortunately, there is no perk or incentive of a spend bonus and there's also no cash back. So with other credit cards in the market, you'll notice that you'll be earning anywhere between, let's say like one to 2% cash back on all transactions. Some credit cards even offer more cash back in certain categories. But unfortunately, with this credit card, you're not going to be earning any type of cash back or a spend bonus. This credit card is mainly for those who want to take advantage of the 0% intro APR on purchases or balance transfers. Now, this card does have some other perks to go with it, though, so I'm just going to quickly go over those right now. So, for instance, you will be receiving up to $600 of cell phone protection against damage or theft as long as you pay your monthly cell phone bill with your eligible Wells Fargo credit card, this is subject to a $25 deductible. You'll also be receiving roadside dispatch deals through my Wells Fargo deals. And then you'll also be receiving $0 liability protection, which basically means that if someone steals your credit card number and goes out and spends a lot of money on it, on different transactions that obviously you're not approving of, then you're not liable to have to pay for those transactions. Okay, so now that I went over some of the main features of this credit card, we're now going to dive into the APR and fees because of course this is super important as well. Now I already briefly went over the APR, so once again for the first 21 months, you will have a 0% intro APR on purchases and balance transfers as long as you complete that balance transfer within the first four months. Now keep in mind with any balance transfer, there are also going to be some fees to go along with that, which I will be going over in just a moment. Now there's also going to be an APR for cash advances. Cash advances is another thing that I strongly recommend ever against doing on this channel, although not financial advice. But if you do decide to take out a cash advance, just know that there is going to be an APR of 29.99%. And then also on any cash advance you do complete, there's going to be a fee of either $10 or 5% of the amount of each cash advance, whichever happens to be greater. Now, as far as those balance transfers go, even though you will have a 0% intro APR on them for the first 21 months, there is going to be a fee on each balance transfer for 5% of each balance transfer with a minimum of 
$5. So for instance, if you do a balance transfer of $1,000, in that case, there is going to be a fee of $50. Now, unfortunately with this credit card, there's also going to be a foreign transaction fee. So if you do happen to travel abroad, this is a credit card you'll definitely want to leave behind because there is going to be a 3% foreign transaction fee. Also, if you happen to make a late payment, there's also going to be a late payment fee of up to $40. Now, if you do happen to pay late for the first time or maybe the second time, there is always the chance that you could call into Wells Fargo and they might waive that fee as a one-time courtesy. Nothing guaranteed, but I do always recommend that people do call in to see if they can have that fee waived for perhaps the first or second time. And once again, as I mentioned earlier on in today's video with this card, there is no annual fee which is pretty great as well. So now that I went over the main features as well as the APR and fees of this credit card, I'm now going to go ahead and jump into what I would consider to be the biggest pros and cons of this credit card, as well as the summary of it. So starting out with the pros, of course, I do have to go with the fact that you are going to be receiving for the first 21 months, a 0% intro APR on both purchases and balance transfers. So again, that's going to give you some time to pay off some larger transactions if you do have some emergency transactions coming up that you absolutely have to make but you don't have the cash reserves on you but again be careful with this because after the first 21 months your apr is going to be going up so try not to accumulate too big of a balance make sure you pay this down as quickly as you possibly can so those are pretty much the biggest pros of this credit card of course you're also going to be receiving the cell phone protection with the $25 deductible, but those are the main pros of this card because there's not gonna be any type of spend bonus or a cash back. So now we're gonna go ahead and jump into what I would consider to be the biggest drawbacks of this credit card. And those two things that I just mentioned, starting out are definitely the biggest drawbacks, the fact that you're not going to be earning any type of cash back, you're not gonna be earning to any type of spend bonus. Those two are definitely pretty huge disadvantages of this credit card. And then you're also gonna be hit with that 3% foreign transaction fee. So that would be a pretty big disadvantage as well. But just to sum things up here, I would say this is a credit card I would probably not recommend. There are definitely other credit cards out there on the market that offer the same things as this one does as far as the pros go, but then they have other pros as well. So just for instance, with the Wells Fargo credit card line alone, Wells Fargo offers another credit card called the Wells Fargo Active Cash Credit Card. And with that one, you're going to be earning a $200 spend bonus as long as you spend at least $500 within the first three months of having that credit card. You're also going to be earning 2% cash back on all transactions, doesn't matter which category. And then to top all that off, you're also going to have a 0% entry APR on purchases and balance transfers. Although it's not for 21 months like this credit card in today's review, it's going to be for the first 15 months, which is still pretty good. So I would definitely perhaps recommend going with that one instead of this one if you are eligible but that's all i have for today's review so i certainly hope that you enjoyed if you did again i would greatly appreciate it if you could give this video a like consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already and i will see you in the next video